how to stop or reduce your cursing after getting out of the military. This is going to be hard. Hey, I'm Dr. Harry McCleary, licensed clinical psychologist and Navy veteran. And I make videos for veterans and their families about mental health. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of how to stop cursing, I want you to ask yourself this question. Why do you want to stop? Stopping or reducing your cursing is one of the hardest habits to break after you get out of the military. So your why is extremely important. So what is your why? Is it because you want to keep that cushy civilian job that you got to where you already got counseled for your dark humor and your cursing? Is it because your kids first words were four letters and not three? Is it because your grandma does not tolerate cursing at her table during Thanksgiving? Even though she throws out her fair share of F bombs. So once you figure out your why, then your next question is probably, well, how? So where do you start? You start with a goal. So whatever your end goal is, whether that's not ever cursing again, good luck, you're a better person than me, or not cursing at work anymore. You take that end goal and you draw it back. You don't start there. You start with a smaller goal. That goal is going to be different for everybody. Maybe you're first goal that you start with is I'm not going to curse until lunchtime or when I go to work I may curse but no more F-bombs starting with smaller goals and accomplishing and mastering those goals first sets you up with a foundation to build off of it you can build bigger goals but if you start with a too large of a goal first, or you start with that lofty goal of never cursing again, you're just setting yourself up for failure and for a lot of curse words. Cursing is so prevalent and honestly just normal in the military that it's almost its own language. However, when you get out of the military and get a cushy civilian job, they have this thing called HR that isn't always fond of the way we talk or our dark humor. You don't always have to work on this by yourself. If you have a buddy or a family member, a loved one that can help you with this, I encourage that you add them in. Sometimes it's as easy as just letting somebody else know, hey, I'm working on this. Can you keep me accountable? Or sometimes just letting them know, hey, I'm working on this, makes you feel like it's more of a big deal. Once you accomplish that first small goal, I want you to reward yourself. Yeah, pat yourself on the back. The second thing I want you to do before you go off and make another goal is go back to that why. Remember why you started doing this and let that continue to drive you and guide you as you make that next goal. Okay, so you got one goal. You patted yourself on the back. You reminded yourself of why you started off on this journey. Now it's time for goal number two. Go a little bit higher. Not all the way, just a little bit. If you mastered not saying any F-bombs at work, maybe you work on the GDs now. Maybe you work on the S-words now. I almost cursed there. Make that goal. Accomplish that next goal. And then guess what I'm going to ask you to do? Yeah. Pat yourself on the back again. 
and refocus yourself on why you're doing what you're doing. What is driving you? What started you down this path? Is it your daughter and trying to set example so she doesn't get kicked out of kindergarten for cursing out the teacher? Is it that job that you need to support your family? Remembering why you do something is just as important, if not more important, than the actual mechanics of breaking this habit. Something to think about. If this video was helpful for you, please like it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about PTSD and military culture. But more important than that, if this video was helpful for you, that means it can probably be helpful for another veteran. So I ask that you share it with them. Because at the end of the day, that's really what all this is all about. One veteran trying to help another.